Hi guys, welcome to or welcome back to my channel. My name is Belle and today we are going to be talking about some really fun products. We also have a guest host today for uh, my cat. She's going to be <laughs> taking a nap in the back because uh, she just doesn't want to be left alone and she uh, wants to be a part of pretty much everything I do because she has some <laughs> serious uh, FOMO issues. So she will be participating in the back. Um, so let's get into it. Today we are going to be talking about uh, Glossy Pops. I found this brand on Instagram actually and they are from New York and they make lip gloss and balm duos that come in almost like a lollipop packaging and they have these cute little charms. So like if you're looking at this one, this is uh, one charm, I have another one, this one is donut scented and it has like a, I don't know if you can see it. So this one is donut scented and it has a donut charm and it looks like this. Again, really beautiful. Uh, and then another one, <laughs> this one is like an ice cream cone scented and it's just so beautiful. So I saw these on Instagram and I was really excited for them. So I got one of their like packs. So I got three in a pack and then I got one extra one that has some shimmer to it. So I thought I would talk about them. So essentially, <laughs> not only are they super fun because they're jeweled and they also have a charm at the end, but they're very like nostalgia based. I feel like they're more just fun than they are like a hardcore lip balm, but I'm actually really liking them. I enjoy the balm. Uh, for the most part, they're all clear. So let me just show you first. Uh, essentially what you have is you have a lip balm on top. So it looks like this. And then if you close that and you unscrew the top, uh, then you have the gloss. So it's a balm and gloss in one. And I actually think the combo of the balm and gloss is a lot of fun. Uh, most of these, like for example, this one. So even though most of them have a color to them, if you open them up and then I were to like swatch this on my hand, for example, uh, like here, you'll see that the color, I swatched it right there doesn't really show up. Maybe a little bit of peachiness. Uh, I can do another one. I can do another one as well. So I can show you this one right here. It doesn't really show up as any sort of color. Maybe like a slight pink. You can see there, but nothing crazy. And then the final one, I'll just show you like right here. Again, you don't really see any sort of color. I actually think out of the three of them, this one has the most color, the one I just swatched, uh, because it has that pinky shade to it. Uh, but again, when you put it on the lips, you're not really going to see a ton of color, maybe just a light shading of color. And then for the most part, the balms, at least the ones that I got, they have options for like more lipsticky, uh, balms that have color to them, but the ones that I got are all pretty much uh, clear balms with like maybe a slight shade. So all of the glosses I got as well are just clear glosses. So I'll show you right here. Just a clear gloss. I know it looks like it has a pink tint. That's really just because my skin's so sensitive. So what I will say about these products, I will say there are two things that I don't love. I obviously love the packaging. I actually think it's really fun to have your balm with your gloss. Uh, one thing I will say is that there's only like a small indicator on the front. I don't know if you can see it. There's like not really any sort of indicator that this is the section you're supposed to open it. Meanwhile, there's a whole back section that when you're like rummaging through your purse or not really looking, makes you feel like you should open it here. But this is obviously um, the joint that it opens from. So you have to open it from this side. I wish it was a little more obvious. 
And then the second thing I'll say with packaging that I'm not the biggest fan of, but again, these are just small like things. I obviously love the packaging. It's probably one of the reasons why I purchased this in the first place, because I just thought these were so cute when I saw them. So the other thing that I'm not in love with packaging wise is just that the doe foot applicator for the gloss tends to not pick up a lot of products. So in order to kind of get enough gloss, uh, you kind of need to dip it in like multiple times. And I just wish that the applicator was a little better and picked up more products. I don't know if it has to do with the thickness of where the gloss is stored or the applicator itself, but I definitely find myself having some sort of difficulty uh, using that. So I just wanted to point that out. But besides that, I love that the two are together. I think it's <laughs> so fun. And I think having them bejeweled with the little uh, charm at the end is just so, so fun. So Glossy Pop offers a bunch of different products. I believe they have like lipsticks, uh, matte liquid products for your lips, like a matte liquid lip. And then they have um, some metallic or like highlightery-esque shades. Uh, I picked one of those up. It's like a chromey shade. It looks like this, which I will show you guys a swatch of in a second as well. So Glossy Pop has a lot of different uh, options on their sites for shades, some with uh, sparkle in them, some without, some with uh, pigment, some without. Uh, but for the most part, they all come out at around $14 or $16. Some cost more than others. I believe all the ones that I got were $14 um, and I got mine in a bundle, which gave me three. And then I ordered this one separately because it's like a chromey, highlighty type shade, which is really beautiful. So they're around $14 and you're definitely paying for packaging. I mean, they're bejeweled, they have uh, a beautiful chrome finish at the top. A lot of them have charms, not all of them. Uh, and they all have their own like unique style to them. I would say that they also give you both a balm and a gloss, which is pretty interesting in one product. So uh, definitely take that into account as well. So I showed you a few of the basic balm shades um, earlier and I swatched them out for you. And now I want to show you this one. This one is called Chrome Playa uh, and it is $15, so a dollar more than the other three. Um, and this one has a chrome, like almost highlighty effect. So I wanted to swatch that for you. Okay, so I'm just going to swatch this one for you. And it is definitely chrome. It has some beautiful like shimmer to it. So you can see that there. And it sort of has a purpley tint to it. But obviously if you look at it based on the color, it's really light. It's like a lilac. Uh, and I'll swatch the orange one next to it. Or the mango, I guess, next to it so that you can see the difference. Um, I'll just swatch this right here. So you have the mango one right there. You can see the slight orangey peach tint and then you have the chrome one right there. What a beautiful effect. So this chrome one specifically has a clear gloss with it uh, and just a chrome balm. I believe that you can kind of switch up what you want depending on which collection you pick from. Uh, some have non-clear glosses, some have a clear balm with something else. It just depends on what you're looking for, but there are definitely lots of options. So zoomed in really quick, I wanted to show you what the chrome one looked like on just so that you can see the effect. Uh, and I wanted to zoom in so that you can see. So right now I'm actually wearing the like mango one. Uh, and it's just, as you can tell, just clear. Um, nothing crazy, even though it has like a maybe a slight peach tint. Uh, and then this is the chrome one. Oh my gosh. Let me just get a mirror too. So this is what the chrome one looks like. You can definitely see the shimmer. Uh, not like an everyday style, I would say, and definitely doesn't match the 
neutral <laughs> eyeshadow that I did earlier, but I wanted to show that one for you so that you can see because as you can see, based on the swatch, this one has a lot of shine to it. I mean, I'll swatch it again real quick on my hands so you can see it has so much shine and like glitter in there. Uh, so if you're interested in one of these, just take that into account that they have a lot of glitter and they're going to be <laughs> very, very intense. Uh, but I honestly think that's the look they're going for. So very beautiful overall. Thanks so much for watching. If you are interested in any of these products, I will link them all below. I'll link down the different ones that I got, as well as just the Glossy Pop website in general, if you are interested in looking at all of their collections. I hope you enjoyed this video. I also have been posting a lot more to my Instagram. So if you are interested in following that as well, I've been posting new products, including these that I pick up uh, daily. So I will put that right here if you are interested and the link is also at the front of my channel. If you want to follow, that would be awesome. So yeah, so I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, uh, definitely comment down below if you've seen these before or if you're interested in them. And definitely like and subscribe if you're interested in seeing more content from me. Thanks so much, guys. Bye.